Except side quest. Of course. Hey guys, Pillow Fort here with another Fire Emblem Let's Play. Where are we at? Um. Just got Guy in that chapter. And now we're off to get Merliness. The peddler Merliness. Merliness is a merchant. What does he do? He stores your items. No more do you have to worry about only having five items to a character and discarding them when you have too many. Although, later in the game, if we get too many, we might have to worry about that. We can make more informed decisions with who we give our items to and buy swords in bulk and distribute them when they really need it in vulner areas. It's really good. That right there, the mustachioed fella, that's Merlinus. And we're defending him from bandits. He is a bit of a coward, if I may say so. And, to be blunt, I'm not really sure what the best way possible to go about this chapter is. I suppose get Matthew up here to see who's coming. Ah, there we go. Get him. That won't do it. Won't do it. I'm going to have to put Marcus here for Bartray's sake. And I'll just try. Can't hurt, right? Lord Hector will protect this wall. And then I'll get Guy back in here next turn. Because he's valuable in the beginning. So now we got that. Um, all these snags are coming. There's a village. I forgot about the village. This is a little dangerous to split up like this. Especially just to have one person do it. But Myrmidons are dangerous people. Um, let's see here. Get him. Yes. Bar tray, the giant. Doesn't take shit from nobody. send Marcus out here after he trades Dorcas the mine that could be horrible if he lost and typically I do not use um what's your McCullough can't even think of it god I do not use Marcus. That's what I'm thinking of that often. But this will be an exception. Duh. Hopefully he can get to the village in time. Suck if he didn't. Really would. Uh, 
That sucks. Get him. Yes. And Sarah's under attack. And we have a Myrmidon who's hungry for some guy meat. I'm sorry, hungry for some bar tray. Can't let that happen. Gotcha. That's cool. Get him. And we're safe over there for a while. And then here's the boss. I don't know what we get if we kill him except for a lot of XP. But I've never taken this strategy, the offensive strategy, before. I've always done defensive. Let's see, what's this guy's range? Oh, right there. Would you look at that? Come on. I know you want guy meat. That sounds so gay. 5,000 gold. That is very worth it. I would risk my life for 5,000 gold. No. Unless an archer comes out there, Sarah's going to be safe. But just in case. Gotcha. That's well and dandy. Sword, yeah, oh, uh oh, -huh. gotcha. Then I'll send Oswin out, put Guy here, and that should be good. We'll move Matthew back in. He's all right. And it's risky. It's stupid but I won't do that yet. That is stupid. If I fail, he's got a clear shot at Sarah, and that's something I don't want to happen. Oh, shit. Get him with your sword. Sword. Proper. God damn, Elo is tanking. And I mean the good tanking. We'll fail, yeah. Wow, I critted him. Now for something even stupider and riskier, killing the boss. What'll this do? A lot of XP, not end the game. Hopefully nobody comes out there with a bow and is like, ah, I got you, Matthew. 
and more so I'm worried about Elod with his half health. But whatever. Wrapping this video up fast. Because it's a defend video. Defend game. That's what I meant. Okay, we're doing that well. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. We got this. Oof, blast, I won't forget this. Okay, they're leaving. Merlinus is safe, and he will join us on a the rest of our journey. Except for the last chapter. Spoiler. That actually sucks, because the last chapter, if you don't come prepared, and you want to do the minigame arena thing where you do multiplayer, and you have to drop stuff, ooh, that's where you get the S-ranked weapons, baby, and you want those for the arena. Okay. So, Elowood's the polite one, like, oh, um, please, Merlin is accompanying us. Um, so Hector is actually the one that's like, it's probably better that you come with us. And Merlinus is like, ah, oh, you're rich, I want this. Now, the thing about Merlinus, until we use him a bunch, he is a tent literally just a tent on the map and he has no way of attacking and no way of defending himself so typically we have to leave somebody with him to guard him and if he dies he's not like the rest where he dies for good and all our items are gone it's just you can't use him next turn and he doesn't gain a level he gains one level for each chapter he stays alive side quests included and it turns out that later on you'd probably want to leave somebody with him anyways because you get more and more reinforcements and those reinforcements start to get ugly after a while so really it's not a whole bad thing so I'll cut the video here that was chapter 13x have a good day, guys. This is Pillow Fort.